In the bottom right, we have the player who lost that Ling all in. He is Wong Jin Star Soki. In the upper left, our old school GSL Code S champion. He is MVP Dongnegu. Well, some DRG support here from Malaysia. Wow, we have a really international crowd tonight. Yeah, man. Who do you want to have win? Uh, the fans. The fans. <laughs> I want esports to win in the end. You know, it's it's a it's an impossible decision. No, it's not. No, it is impossible. I can't make it. Um, you could like flip a coin if you couldn't make it up in mind. Uh, well, here's the thing, right? Because I love Sulky. I think Sulky's probably the best Zerg in the world, and I want to see him go far every season. But I'm, DRG, the way he played against Innovation, I need to see it again. I need to see yeah, him play some of these I feel like the, uh, the DRG narrative of him moving yeah. through the tournament is more exciting. Because the thing is with DRG... If he falls out, like, does he go back into his slump? I'm always afraid when someone goes into a slump that they'll go back into one, right? Whereas Sulky, I'm like, I just look at that kid and I'm like, you will always be making it deep for the next three years, you know? I just, like, yeah. have so much faith that he will just continue to do well. Uh, so I, I kind of hope DRG makes it out of this group. If Sleep makes it out, that's going to be wild. That's going to be wild. Crazy. Oh, man. That's going to be really, crazier than going down a hill on a slip and slide, Tasteless. That is dangerous. A little rock at the end under the pad. Oh, yeah, I've had that. Oh! We're going to slip and slide. My chest goes over a rock. And I'm like, oh, oh, my ribs. Yep. Here's how it's actually so funny when you realize, like, the, like for instance, like trampolines. Like, that's, like, actually so dangerous. <laughs> You're telling you know me, feel? Tasteless. Oh, that's You're right. You actually choir. got injured on a trampoline. Yes, oh, I'm grateful did. for that, man. That's how you became a StarCraft. Yeah, I'm. You're grateful that I was in terrible if, pain if, and my life is forever that, altered? Yeah, because now you cast StarCraft with me and it's That's fun. True. Because Would that have happened if I had not broken my ankle? Well, what would have, what have to happen is like we have to get a time machine. If you did not get on that trampoline and go back in time and break your ankle, Tastes would go back in time with a ski mask on and a pipe <laughs> and just whack your leg and be like, oh! But then I become this kid. guy that's like so afraid of everyone and I just stay in my house all the time. Yeah, you're still playing StarCraft. It's fine. Yeah, but would I have become a commentator? Well, what happened is, 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 you know, one day on the internet, I would be like, hey, Artosis, I'm the guy that broke your leg. Don't worry, that was me from the future, okay? Like, you need to start casting with cast StarCraft with me, and then I do it because I'm afraid of you. <laughs> um, well, we already have a lot of lings being created by both sides, really. Sulky making yeah. a little bit more. DRG getting a spine crawler as well. This is crazy, man. They're both kind of going for the same thing. Yeah, um, <laughs> both these guys... Uh, Leaning on aggression here, which means this game may just normalize. Speed will actually finish for Soul Key first, so he's going to get down there. But DRG with his spine crawler up, he won't be broken. He's making enough lings. In fact, Soul Key has four more lings right now, but they're going to be closer to DRG's base. So I, I can't see him being broken here at all. Spine crawler just now finishes. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I actually have stomach issues. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine, man. I don't mean it. And, um... Now the legs are going to come up here. There's really nothing he can do. This He's is funny. Peeking. Is there a drone I can kill yeah. or something like that? They both see how many lings they each have, so they both start droning again because that's what you got to do. Now, will we see someone try to throw up a Baneling Nest for a kill? I think we'll see probably defensive Baneling Nests go up. I would say not offensive Baneling Nests. Yeah, nest. that's what I think. Uh, well, definitely they're not going to make it on each other's creeps, but yeah, I don't think they're going to be offensive with their Banelings. Maybe make like one or two and see if you can do anything. But nothing. Yeah. I don't think they're gonna like super commit to that because they both know they're both going for. Well, mainlings. they're both so low on drones, they can't mm. get um, enough mainlings out either. So they're gonna now we have the lings retreating over here, and they'll just run all the way home because all these units are the same speed. <laughs> Surprise! Tr truth speak over here. <laughs> yeah, truth speak. I'm not gonna sugarcoat this one. Those zerglings are all getting home. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's gonna try to loop around here, see if he can't get a drone or something. Nice zoning so far here uh, by uh, Sulky to make sure Deer you can't get. Oh, wait, 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 wait. One link, one link. Both being yep. careful. Making a Does couple banes on both sides, as you would expect. And not even going to be any poking, really. So, 
from here. Do we see them go up into Mutas? Or do we see someone try to go for Roach? That's the question, Tasteless. Do you have the answer? Uh, I think we're going to go Roach. Okay. How do you feel about that? I think they're going to go Muta. <laughs> you think they're going to go Muta? Yeah. <laughs> we'll see who's right. Now we have the Lings uh, continue to chase. This is a little bit of scouting here. And layers pop up for both. Yeah. Same time. Alrighty. Both players do have three gases as well. Uh, fourth now uh, being made here for DRG. And Sulky grabbing all of his. So Ling's little tiny skirmishes around because why not do little tiny skirmishes? If you get a random baneling that hits just right, then suddenly you're going to have a big edge when people are going to take third bases. And he's going to end up picking up both these banelings, making them pretty useless. They're pretty short on gas early on in this game, so uh, we have more banelings being made down here for Sulky. And the banelings do come out for Sulky. He's not going to be broken, of course. Oh, that was. I'm actually surprised good for I didn't actually get that second baneling. Yeah. Um, he's a tough guy. And, and not, not targeting with that spine crawler, by the way, uh, on that bane. Now, of course, it <laughs> takes two banelings. <laughs> it's to kill a drones full mm. on, so those drones are all just bruised. Which means it probably won't have any impact on this game since they'll just heal up unless DRG gets in there and does some more damage. And Spire now coming down here uh, for a soul keep. Now, we got here in different ways, but this is similar to game number one between these two. Notice DRG with the quicker third hatchery, whereas Sulky is really focusing on Zerglings. There we go. He does get his a little bit later, but he's going to be the one that's a little bit more aggressive this game. Really great micro right there. Wow. Yeah. Really, really tight. Oh, my God. And he actually gets a Bane and way damages the other. Okay, so now can he get rid of this third base? This is a really important part. DRG has no Lings out to counter-attack the third base of All his right, opponent. I think the surround is oh, just going to wow. Yep, he gets the cancel. Now he can get out. Really well done. are perfectly positioned here to zone out the rest of this. Wow, this was really well done by Sulky. Yeah, he looks fantastic. He's, he's down in supply a little bit, and we do have a lot more Lings from DRG. Uh, being produced right now. But, but you know that Spire is about to finish here. He does have a lot of gas banked up. You know, the thing is, the third base is actually going to be finishing for Sulky, and DRG just restarted his. This is a real issue. This is just like game number one. DRG has to do something. And Sulky's just, he's too active on the map. Well, he sees what's like going on. DRG is somewhat paralyzed right now. There's mm. not a lot he can actually do. Whether by fear or by Zerglings, he is tasteless. <laughs> or fungal growth. Probably not fungal growth. No infestation pit out, but... no. Oh. Uh, he's he's unable to really leave his base right now. This is some very nice moves by Sulky. And look at that. Oh, he's, he's going to get everything out with Second cancel here. No way to oh. stop this. Gets oh. it. Oh, and that's Whoa. a good explosion yeah. at least. That was, yeah, he got a lot of lings back there. Uh, Sulky's going to have to be careful mm. because, uh, you know, with DRG having a very big army here, uh, he could counterattack. It looks like we're going to see that right now with the lings headed southbound here. Well, this is where we see Sulky go 100% defense because he has this advantage on this extra base. So as long as he can hold this, as long as he doesn't lose a whole ton of stuff here, and look, he's going to hold this part easily. DRG has to be sweating bullets right now, Tasteless. Everything is on the line right now. So far, Sulky has just outmaneuvered him. Uh, time is running out right now for DRG. He has to do more damage here in this counterattack, or this game uh, could just end. Now, notice uh, DRG's uh, playing conservatively, going for overlords here in the hopes that he'll get a supply block, maybe, mm. maybe be able to build up a few more mutas and then attack into his opponent. Well, the problem is that Sulky's mining gas from his third base. DRG's third still not finished. And if Sulky hits uh, just around the time that the third finishes or a little ways after that, he'll just have a mutalist lead. And the Mutalis lead is really what matters the most here. All right, and nice connection Ooh. there. But the Mutalis sniped down the second Bane. Nice control there by DRG. Who's yeah, showing really us how nice good control. he is with his uh, his Mutaling. He's got a lot of finesse. Mm -hmm. Now coming in here and just shaving off a few Overlords. Ooh, catches a Mutalis as well. That's a huge moment right there. Yeah, uh, every so Muta counts right now. He's up three Mutas at the moment, and they're both making three, so that's a, a big difference. Starcraft 1 ZVZ here. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, when you're both going Muta, you, if you try to tech switch into Infester, it's very risky because they can hit you right before Infester, or even if, you know, if you only have one or two, it's still fine. Let me uh, use your PC for a second mm -hmm. or two. So we have... Uh, 
19 Mutas to 16 now. Yeah, that three Mutalis lead, that's not going away anytime soon, I think, Tasteless. Here he is, he's trying to hit a little bit. He has to be careful, though. If he stays on this side of the map too long, then suddenly more Mutas rally out for DRG. Now, here we go. Soul Key's Ling's actually way higher in number, but a Baneling coming up. Oh, but oh. DRG losing too many Mutas now. And DRG's eliminated from the Codes. Yeah. It's 15 to 23. That is not that's... something you come back from, unfortunately. And... This will be the beginning of the end here. Now, uh, Solky doesn't know how ahead he is exactly, but he does know these links are going to take out this base, That's which is good enough for him. He yeah. could have won that Muta fight as well, but he he it wins be hard on every count single front. Stacked Mutas, you know. Yeah, I know it's DRG. He wants the fight. He wants to lose his Mutas before he leaves because you always feel bad if you have that many units and you leave. <laughs> But uh, this this game has basically been decided at this point. 27 to 21. He's killed the third base. Here we go. This is the engagement. This is the end of the game. And Solky going to win it with ease. Solky will now have the rematch here against Sleep once DRG taps out. The DRG is back, Brigade. Going to have to go back into hiding until next season. Yep. Sorry, guys. Sulky was the better player. DRG right now reflecting That's rough. on that loss. He's on in such good shape. He played so well. He destroyed innovation in the, one of the best yeah. TDCs I've ever casted in my whole life. StarCraft 1 and StarCraft 2 combined. Mm -hmm. um, but he gets the round of 16, and he's the first one out. And that's the nature of Code S, the most competitive yeah. esports tournament in the it, world. I you know, that it is so rough. DRG has played phenomenally, uh, especially that last round. Perhaps the only Zerg in the world that can truly take out innovation head-to-head -head in a macro game. Yeah. Uh, what, what else can you say? He's out. It's too bad. It's a shame. Well, Solky has one more challenge to beat his rival right now in this group. Sleep, the one who took him out and forced him to play DRG in the first place. Well, I think Sulky can do a better job this time. Uh, he's playing some very good ZBZ right now. He just yeah. needs to be careful about the plans that Sleep has for him. Yeah, I mean, Sleep's very good at preparation, but uh, it looks like Sulky has probably shifted gears a little bit and should be prepared. We'll see, though. We're going to find out after this short break, so stay tuned.